Hey family, welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. So today, it is not a movie review, but it is a review about some of the things that I've seen in the movie Acrimony starring Taraji P. Henson. If you have not seen this, it might be a little bit of a spoiler for you. However, it still is worth the watch, so stay tuned. family thank you for coming on back so again this is not a movie review but it is I do want to talk about several things that actually happened in the movie and if you don't know the movie is about a relationship a kind of um, kind of crazy relationship so let's just gotta jump right into it uh, I'm gonna actually talk about the man or the husband first and then I'll jump into Taraji's character so the husband um, some of the things that I think that he did wrong in this relationship was one, when Taraji showed him how crazy she was in the very beginning of the movie when they were still boyfriend and girlfriend, i.e. not married, he ignored the signs for craziness because it didn't come out as often. But if you didn't see the movie, let me just say that her craziness was to me, specifically in the beginning of the movie when when he was he basically he was cheating on her okay and but um she didn't take it well at all she actually caught him in the act he lived in a um trailer home and literally she ran her truck into this trailer home and knocked it over so when the other woman runs out she's like oh you didn't tell me that you were in a relationship so she was basically innocent um at least for the most part he didn't deny it he didn't say yes i did or anything like that uh so when Taraji showed him his craziness, I mean her craziness, he still decided to continue on with the relationship. The second thing that I will say that I will like beat beat down on him about was the fact that he didn't he never got a job. They whole relationship. I get it, he was working on this fabulous, I think it was a generator or something, something to do with electricity. So I get all of that. However, sir. And if you are the guy or the girl that's in this situation, specifically where you are working on some type of invention, but you don't think that you're supposed to get a job to help out right then and there, then that is the issue. The issue was not the fact that he was working on his project. The issue was that he didn't think that he should get out and work a regular job to bring in some type of income to help out the household. So that was my issue with him on that. Obviously, if you've seen the movie, eventually his invention did come to fruition and he he was an instant millionaire, but it wasn't instant. I say instant in the fact that it finally came into fruition, but it definitely wasn't instant because they were married for 18 plus years, plus they dated for a few years. So let's just go with a 20 year relationship. And he did not contribute to the household until it was almost the end where the family had to call a meeting like, hey, brother, are we about to lose our family house because you're not helping out? Taraji's character had lost all of her money investing in him investing in what he was believing in and everything and so again he was not contributing to the family household she was carrying the weight for at least 18 years for certain because that's how long they were married but it could have been longer no actually i know that it was longer because she purchased him a vehicle and some other things before they had gotten married so he did not hold up his end of the bargain he didn't and um they didn't really say that she actually spoke with him about it, but I'm just assuming that she had some type of conversation with him about, hey, we need some help with this money or I need some help with this, with these bills, etc. And he never did get a job. So now those are my issues with the husband. And now I'm going to jump on. I got several reasons or several issues with Taraji's character. One of them that I can think of off the top of my head is how she let her sisters get into her business so much. Um, specifically, the older sister, she, you could tell that she was the one who had the say, um, even when the men were there. So it was the two sisters and then the two husbands. Um, and the eldest sister was the one who always had something to say. And Taraji, the, the, the character that she played, I can't just can't think of the character's name at the moment. But anyway, Taraji's character, she would always allow her sisters and the family to get into their 
business, i.e. tearing down the husband, i.e. how she should leave him, how he ain't no good, he's just taking her for all her money, etc., etc. So this for at least 18 years. No, it was before then because when she met him, the eldest sister was giving him a hard time at um, the mom's funeral. At their mom's funeral, she was giving him the 10th and 12th degree of all these questions, and she had just met him, and she was being a hater. She brought in the ex-boyfriend or the ex fiance whatever he was, and was like, uh, yeah, you know she's still in love with you, saying all of this stuff in front of her current guy. Um, so she was already disrespectful. She didn't like him from the very beginning uh, because he didn't have a job. But I can see her valid points. However, my, my, my problem is Taraji never... Uh, put her people in their place because they should not nobody should have that much say in your relationship about your guy about your girl and if you're letting them say all of this stuff in front of the person just imagine what they're saying when you are not there so that was an issue that I had another issue that I had with the character is that when she was the eldest sister specifically when she was tearing him down Taraji never took up for her man never once did she say listen this is the life that I'm living I'm taking care of him because it's going to pay off like she never said anything to protect her relationship to protect her man she only let her sisters get off what they needed to get off their chest but she never ever ever spoke up for her husband even when he was a boyfriend I can kind of see that okay I can, I can let that pass but once you guys tie the knot and again they were married 18 plus years so just remember for all of this time the eldest sister was putting him down in front of him sometimes but Taraji never ever ever spoke up for her man never defended her relationship never ever ever okay I have a problem with that I have a problem with you letting too many people into your relationship and I definitely have a problem with you not defending the guy that you chose or defending the girl that you chose, specifically in this case, the guy that she chose. She never, ever, ever took up for him and I had an issue with that. Another sort of problem, really wasn't a big problem, but it was a, a problem because he was working on the generator electricity thing, whatever it was, I can't remember what they called it, and he was working on it. Um, she believed in him that it was going to work and that they were going to live this fabulous life. But it didn't come to fruition because all of the stuff that was in her head from her sisters being in her head all of these years, she prematurely left the relationship. And this is when all her super crazy come into play, when she prematurely left the relationship. And he literally was sitting there begging her. Um, he took this meeting that actually messed up their family business he took this meeting and um he went off to, to the meeting i'm sorry he went off to the meeting and he turned down i think it was eight hundred thousand dollars for his invention so he, when he got back to the house he's apologizing to people but he actually sat down with taraji to say hey it's coming. It's it's going to happen. They offered me $800,000 check today. She wasn't having it. She's like, how come you didn't take the money today? You mean tell me she was already pissed off at him because she was trying to talk to him in the moment. And he was like, hey, I've been waiting on said company. Can't think of the company's name. I've been waiting on said company to call me for years. They finally called me right now. I got to go. And she wanted to have a conversation. He wasn't hearing it. So by the time he got back, she was fuming when she had already piled up all his stuff on the floor and <laughs> like you need to get your ish and get out and he was like I'm not going nowhere and she just leaned in and she looked him directly in the eye and she's like you know how crazy I am right and I, I don't know what he remembered <laughs> but old boy was like okay it's time for me to pack up my stuff and it's time for me to go so yes yeah, so the, the whole movie was crazy but I do like the twist but again this is not a movie review I'm just talking about a lot of the crazy that was in this movie. All right, the final thing that I'm going to talk about is her just being a damn psycho. <laughs> if you are the psycho, you probably don't know that you're the psycho, but everybody around you knew that you knew that the character had psychotic issues per se because, again, she had already... Um, 
caught him with the girl and she knocked down the, the trailer home with him in it and the girl in it. And then um, she, she she was doing a whole bunch of crazy stuff, all right? I just, just If you haven't seen the movie, like, again, because this is not a movie review, you should definitely be able to go and watch this movie and enjoy it. But it was definitely a lot of crazy in this movie. So if you are a psycho, if you are with a psycho or an abusive person, then you need to get out. If you don't notice that you are the abusive or psycho person, but everybody is around you telling you, uh, they're, they're making comments like, you now you know you got anger issues or something like that, because that's kind of what they was doing throughout the whole movie with her character. And she was like, girl, girl, you know, kind of play it off. But everybody knew that she was a little off. And they also showed you that she was a little off. This is what I seen anyway. When the when the, when the ex-husband, because she did divorce him, she walked away, right? So when the ex-husband happened to get with the girl who he actually cheated with years ago, 18 years ago, they had nothing else going on, but it didn't look that way just because of the way things had played out toward the end. But my point is, when he got with her, and they were fiancé at this time, this is this is what I'm talking about when the crazy. Everybody knows you're crazy because as much as the eldest sister did not like the ex-husband, they had him, as in the eldest sister, her husband, the younger sister and her husband, had a meeting at her house to tell the future couple, y'all need to have security at y'all wedding because y'all know she could be a little bit off. You, this is another reason how you know that they crazy. On the wedding day of the ex-husband and the new wife, everybody was sitting around her house doors to make sure that she wasn't going nowhere. But of course she escaped anyway. And girl, guy, this is just crazy. If you are the psycho, if you're doing psychotic stuff like that where you're following people's social media, you printing out pictures, you slicing the eyes, faces and all this stuff, you need to go get some help. That's way too much. You are investing way too much time and energy into this situation. And the very bad part about all of this is that he begged her not to divorce him, and she still divorced him. So after, after the divorce, he came and gave her some money. Um, he gave her a few million, actually, 10, 10 million to be exact, because he, he had gotten, um, I think it was 100 million. Can't remember the number that he got, but it was a lot of, a lot of money compared to him being broke. Like he was a dishwasher at the time that he became a millionaire. And he finally decided, okay, I need to keep some money in my pocket. Like he was living in a homeless shelter. It had gotten so bad for him. And then he became a millionaire. But, honey, this was a lot. This story was a lot. It had a lot of relationship drama in it. I'm glad that I've seen it. I know that I'm late speaking about this movie. But, um, yeah, it just had, it had a lot going on. What did you actually think about this movie? Um, could you relate to any of the psychotic stuff that she was doing? doing meaning it doesn't mean that you have to throw yourself under the bus but do you know somebody who is sort of like that character or literally are you that character and was the husband wrong for actually marrying her when she had already showed him her her little bit of crazy Y'all let me know. Let's continue this conversation down in the comment section below. Of course, give me thumbs up if you like this actual non-review. <laughs> and um, I will see you guys again in the next video. Two-fifths salute.